It is Saturday, November 16th, 2024, and this is breaking news from Medellin, Colombia. A Mexican man was found deceased in a house in the Simon Boulevard neighborhood of Medellin, Colombia. So I have two different versions of this story because each story has different pieces of information, including his nationality. Let's just jump into it. A Mexican citizen was found deceased on Friday morning inside a house in the Simone Boulevard neighborhood of Medellin after hanging out with some friends and some women he had met through dating apps. The event occurred at approximately 11.40 a.m. in the morning on Carrera 81A with Calle 37B in this neighborhood of Comuna 12, La America, west of Medellin. After friends found that the foreigner identified as Emmanuel Manzanares, 32 years old, and who also had American citizenship, had no vital signs. According to the police report of the case, Manzanares and his friends decided to invite the women to their home, who would have arrived after 2 a.m. this Friday, and there they began to socialize and consume alcoholic beverages. During the morning, the woman left the property without leaving any further information, and later, after waking up, the friends went to look for Emmanuel, finding that he was no longer breathing. Agents from the Sihan and the Metropolitan Police carried out an inspection of the lifeless body of this foreigner, leaving his passing to be established. Since they did not find sufficient reasons to define whether it was a cause of death due to intoxication from the supply of some substance or due to other circumstances. Likewise, during the initial investigation, the authorities indicated that no theft was reported from the belongings of this foreigner or his companions at least in the first inquiries. His body was transferred to the facilities of the forensic medicine in the Caribe neighborhood, where the respective forensic work will be carried out to fully establish the causes of his passing. According to the authorities' report, this year there have been 47 passings of foreign citizens non-Venezuelan in the Abur Valley, although only four have been confirmed as homicides. It should be noted that these statistics include passings due to health problems, causes yet to be established, and those who come to the city and end up taking their own lives. This next story has slightly different information, so let's jump into here. No passport or cell phone. Identity of American man killed in Laureles after having sex with a woman is known. The four friends had met three women through a Tinder app. The identity of the foreign man who was found dead on Friday morning in the apartment in Laureles after having sexual relations with a woman he had allegedly contacted through a dating app has been revealed. The deceased apparently showed symptoms of asphyxiation, apparently caused by the consumption of sexual enhancers. Emmanuel Manzanares, a 31-year-old American citizen who worked as a truck driver, was the name given to the individual found dead on Friday morning in a short-term apartment in the Laureles neighborhood. According to authorities, the man's body was found at around 11.49 a.m. inside an apartment rented through the Airbnb platform. The most striking thing about the case is that the body had a foamy fungus in the mouth and nose, a characteristic sign of asphyxiation by submersion or perhaps an overdose. Manzanares had arrived in Medellin with three friends on November 13th and was staying in the apartment where he had planned to remain until the 19th of this month. The night before the body was found, the four friends had met three women through the Tinder app who went to the apartment around 2.30 a.m. According to his friends, Manzanares had consumed alcoholic beverages and sexual enhancers. After having sex with one of the women, he lay down on the floor complaining of feeling ill. When they went to wake him up on Friday morning, they found him deceased. Authorities are investigating the exact cause of his passing and have not ruled out any hypothesis. Friends of the victim say they did not see any signs of violence on the body. However, the absence of Manzanara's cell phone and passport is striking. Again, we send prayers and good vibes to the family of Mr. Manzanares. And for anybody else who is going through the situation or even slightly close to the situation, please report it to the police. Make sure you reach out to 123 ASAP as soon as possible. Time is always of the essence in these cases. We don't know, just like most of the cases, probably 90%, we never get follow-ups on. Any follow-up information that uh, I detect or some of you, some of the viewers who shoot me information, 
uh, passes on to me, I will make sure that I report any updates found when there is additional information to share. Again, our condolences to the family and friends of this gentleman. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to travel, but travel safe. Yaki Medellin, feeling mean, sipping cafecito, parquet, hair scene, hottest vibe ain't incognito, Comuna 13, colors bright, mural symphony, graffiti on city walls, culture rich as history. Watch DC rhyme, stay wise, streetwise TV, keep the tabs on where to roll, news a lot, believe me, travel but travel safe, life don't hit replay, street savvy like a king, no wrist we convey. Ready, nice. Under city lights, roll with DC Rob, he got the sights. Cultures blend, party never ends. Stay sharp, stay true, we got no pretense. Hustle like New York Marine, never get caught slipping. DC born street, smart worldwide, tripping. Latin beats, south streets, rhythm always bumping. Parquet, years hang tight, massive crowd bumping. Travel like a Marine, ain't no fear. Mad respect for local vibes we revere. Colors bold, stories told are pure magic. Medellin spirit so infectious, never tragic. Medellin nights, on the city.